Holy sh What's up guys? If you're looking to make some cool gunshot sound effects for your next project, you've come to the right video. Today, I'll show you how to turn sounds like these into a gunshot like this. To show that you don't need expensive equipment, I will be using a regular iPhone mic to record my sounds and use Logic Pro X with stock plugins for my processing. First off, we have to get an idea of what kind of gunshot we're looking for. Ask yourself, how big is the gun? How big is the blast? You wouldn't necessarily make a huge blast for a gun with a silencer, would you? For this video, we'll be just recreating a regular pistol shot. Next, we can start hunting for sounds to record. We will be specifically looking for low and high end impact sounds. For my low end impacts, I will punch a couch and smack a pillow on things. For the high end impacts, I will clap my hands and hit a baking tray. Once you've recorded your sounds, it's time to start layering them. Because this is a strong impact sound, we can stack the transients on top of each other. Transients are the peak or spike of a sound where they experience high amplitude for a short duration. When you're happy with your layered arrangement, we can start throwing processing effects on it. For this gunshot sound effect, we'll be using a combination of EQ, pitch shift, distortion, compression, and reverb. I always like to start off by equalizing my overall sound. I like to compare EQing to shaping a clay statue. We can mold our audio elements into a cohesive sound that complement each other. By boosting or cutting frequencies, we can accent certain elements in our sound effect. Next, we can add a pitch shifter to our effects chain. We can use this effect to lower the pitch of some or all of our impacts, resulting in a beefier sound. Hey, where's the beat? Simply move the semitone parameter down until you are happy with the weight. You can also blend the two signals with the mix knob for taste. After we have applied the beef, we can continue adding power to our gunshot sound by applying distortion. Because we are creating a regular pistol sound, try not to go too overboard with distortion. Going hard on distortion may result in a stronger gunshot sound such as a shotgun. Once we are happy with our gunshot strength and power, we can finalize the loudness as well as reshape the transients with the compressor. After setting the loudness with the threshold and ratio parameters, we can shape our transients with the attack knob. After applying our gain-based effects, we can turn to our reverb, which can be classified as a time-based effect. I typically use a combination of a small and large reverb. Because I use two reverb sizes, I can use the small reverb to bring forward certain elements, then use the large reverb to glue the spaces together. Now after brainstorming, recording, layering, and processing, we can finally hear our finished sound in action. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you learned something today. Maybe you can take what you've learned today and apply it to your next sound design project. If you have any suggestions for sounds you want me to create, just drop a comment below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for new content. Cheers!